good morning. Nice interesting job for you this morning. It's um, a pine tree that snapped out um, one of the branches, the main limbs that kind of go away from the property. It's um, had a lot of snow on it over the last week or so and over Christmas and uh, the weight of it I think has just basically snapped it out so should be relatively straightforward I think, doesn't look uh, too complicated really, it's still hung up so should be alright. So we're going to make a start now, see if we get on. How's your wrist today? Aren't you? <laughs> You've been a viola. Even bungeing that, is it? Oh yes! What a shot! It bounced as well.
tie the uh, rigging rope on and the uh, that red pulley. You tie on to the end of this line here. It's well comfy here. Probably could, you know, <laughs> if we had the, uh, we set the drum up, we'd probably do it from here. Might be worth. I would like to go right down there. That would be pretty cool, but 
I'd li I could literally go there and just cut it. So I might just do that. Well, it, that rigging point could be better though. Should use that smaller sling though. It's like three pieces in it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like that one there, and then I can't really see these other two, but there's two going that way. Was it snapped here? Yeah, yeah, right. There.
Okay, go on, try and pull that tight. That made hard work at that. <laughs> Let it proper run. I could put one on, but it's, it'd, be this, it'd only be up here. Top of this one, wouldn't it? So I'm just going to butt in here and be watching the footage back from today. It's the, the evening of the footage that you're watching now. And then I'm just going to kind of pause it here really because just come up to this section here and make a bit of a schoolboy error really. Um, as you can see like I've already put my, my rigging rope on and we can see the, that which is the blue rope. Um, I'm just clearing off this little stub, or like the snap out where it actually was. And what's really frustrating is I've put my rigging rope on, and normally I'd put my undercutting and then, then put the rope on, but because of the position that the tree was, and where I wanted to actually make the cut, it's kind of where my hands are now. Um, and as you can see, the ropes on the other side of the branch, of the the limb sticking out, so. No, when I move to the right hand side of it, it's in the way basically. Um, but I knew this, I could see this straight away. 
um, when I put the rope on I could see where the rope was I knew where it was and I consciously said to myself you know you would have to move that before you put your first cut in um, when you do actual felling cut like your, your back cut um, it'll be fine it's, it's it's fine where it is it's in the perfect position but for my first cut as you can see me reaching my hand around there you know I've, I've seen it I know it's there you can see from the GoPro the position that it's in obviously on the top of my helmet is slightly above where my eye line is but you can see it and as I start to go on the other side of the branch now the, the rope will disappear you won't be able to see it and that's from the GoPro's angle so my eyes are obviously like well that much below it so I couldn't see but I already knew it was there which was really frustrating just fast forward a bit So here the saw is obviously the handle of the saw is obviously touching that um, that stub, but I don't need to take any more because I just want to get it as close as I can. But as you can see, the rope though you can't see it on the other side, and for whatever reason I just completely forgot about it. Went to do my undercut, and as soon as I did it, it, it just nicked the line and um, dragged it in. So pretty. I just wanted to show it because, you know, accidents happen. Nothing, nothing was, no, no one was injured, no one was hurt. Other than the rope being nicked, you know, and I haven't got. There was no issues. Um, I basically just tied an, tied an alpine butterfly there and, and rigged that piece off, um, and then we used. Um, I think we actually left it and put a carabiner in the in the loop, and we used it for another couple. There was like two small limbs that came off after that. Like two smaller pieces, but I just wanted to show it because you know it wasn't all plain sailing, and there's not many times that I make mistakes like that. Uh, and in all the videos I think I've ever posted, there's nothing been nothing really good wrong. There's a good few times where you gaff out and things, but you know, that's kind of day to day, isn't it? But I was really gutted about it, and you can see in the video that I weren't too happy, and I just wanted to kind of go over it. And so the, the the reason I made these videos initially was for me trading and to kind of look back on and. It's just really important for me to watch this footage back each day and just see how I can improve and that's really helped me over the last few years to get better. Um, so I hope you can see kind of where I've made the mistake and like I said normally, I might do another video on it in the future but like I said I'm just watching it back and I wanted to share that with you. Um, other than that everything else went really well. Um, it was a pretty cool tree to be fair, it was a bit cold but it was a nice uh, nice tree to work on, quite quite tricky. And obviously doing it SRT as well, I'm trying to find the balance between working double rope and SRT and <clears throat> finding out when's the best time to use SRT and when's the best time to use double rope. Because it was literally up, out to that one limb, Re keep reducing it, you know, taking it down. And that was it. That was the job done. We had two other jobs after this one. So once I climbed this, I went and did um, a couple silver birch reductions, small ones. And then we also went and felled an older tree as well. Um, so it's important, you know, I made that mistake, let's move on, try and finish the job and not let it, don't dwell on it and stuff. So anyway, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it um, and try and learn something from it. Cheers. Rigging anyway. Bloody hell. I'll bet the camera goes up. You got that, didn't you?
There we are, all done. Got the branch down. Went pretty well to be honest, other than um, I think you'll see that I nicked my rope, uh, the rigging rope with the chainsaw, which is just a schoolboy error, really. Pretty annoyed about that. But um, luckily it was right at the end, so not too bad. But yeah, it was quite a lot of tension and compression, it was really difficult to, to kind of see where the branches were uh, going to go. But um, yeah, it worked out all right in the end. So that's the first job we've got today, we've got another couple to do um, this morning and one this afternoon. So, so yeah, we'll head over and do that. And uh, Thanks for watching, hope you like the video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like it if you did like it. If you didn't like it, then dislike it, fine. Leave, but leave me a comment why, let me know in the comments. Cheers, I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, sorry me again. I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who's already subscribed to the channel. I've just reached like 400 subscribers, which is amazing to me. Um, unfortunately though, a lot of you guys who are watching, I'm talking to you, you haven't subscribed to the channel. So if you've got a YouTube channel yourself, if you've got an account, hit that red subscribe button, it helped me a lot. And if you haven't got an account, then go and get one. And if you don't know how to do that, up here somewhere, there'll be a video that my uh, friend of mine, Andy the Northern Diver, He's done a video of how to set up your own YouTube account. You don't have to upload anything. You don't have to, you know, be a YouTuber. But um, you can create playlists, you can like videos, and you should subscribe to your favourite channel so you always get notified when they upload a video. So go and do that. Cheers.